Hey, look at that. Bambi's back. About ready to head into town for a trip or to get some groceries and stuff. I see some deer over here nibbling away. Kind of seems, uh, looks just like the same deer. It's the only deer that friendly, too, that doesn't run off when, uh, I'm this close to it. Yeah, I do believe that's Bambi. Found an old avocado seed out here trying to grow. I'll stick that in some dirt. Got uh, got some food and stocked up on some canned salmon. $8. It was like $8 and 20 something a can. I got two cans. Emergency uh, food rations, I suppose. I don't plan on eating these. $8 for the red salmon. Only $3 and something for the pink salmon. I have no idea what the difference is. I bought uh, two of each just for some uh, emergency food, some doomed, uh, some, something for my prep. So, anyway, we got veggies, some canned food, ranch, and then I'm gonna hop over to the hardware store and get some parts and get on back. Some red salmon, pink salmon. Also got uh, trying this tuna. I do not like tuna and olive oil, but it seems like that's the only stuff these guys make. Uh, I'm not even sure what company this is. Kind of strange. Genova. Could not find the tuna I like, which is like four dollars a can. That's really good. Should you give me a log what that was? But this stuff does not say it has any soy in it. it. Just says solid white albacore tuna, olive oil, and salt. Winco to Wilco. From Winco to Wilco. Ooh, he's got some extra food storage. I wish I had a bigger fridge. Stopped at the Winco. Wilco. Got some hardware. For an upcoming project. Now I need some propane and uh, drop off some garbage and then I can get back to the ranch. Get back to catching up on some sleep. I'm still, still struggling with that, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Oh yeah, I also stopped at the Walmart and got me some wash brushes, something I've been needing for a while and I couldn't decide on which one I liked. So I got both, one of the uh, actual carb flow through brushes that you can hook a hose to but I don't really care about that I just felt like something that would work good for cleaning the roof or this which is a little more uh, rough it's a floor scrubber so that might be too rough we'll see which one I like also got some coat hangers and pant hangers some uh, floss dental floss things like that okay got my business done here at an O'Reilly's Auto Parts got a upper radiator hose ordered to replace the universal one I got, which I'm not a big fan of. It didn't quite fit and it leaks a little bit. That exhaust pipe. Big old 
called Chooch Pipe. Oh, there's a class. I've seen that one before. So, we're gonna turn on back. I got my upper radiator hose ordered. I even took out a, or looked at a, getting a fan shroud. It's actually pretty cool. I like that older one, older class C there. Um, what was I saying? Fan shroud, yes, uh, going up the hill. Got a little hot, not too bad. So far the fans work actually pretty good, just so long as I'm on flat ground. Climbing up that hill for a long period of time was, uh, things got kind of hot. Um, so yeah, I looked at the fan shrouds and I don't like them. They're just, uh, they don't have, you can, you, they don't make the originals anymore. They just have this like flat piece of, and it's just curved like an upside down U or kind of like a, I don't know. Anyway, it's, it's like a really cheesy kind of shroud thing that I can easily make. So that gave me, I took a picture of it on my phone. make up my own thing if that's all it takes is just a flat piece of metal. Uh, so 
so I'll just try and remake what some ranch work and uh, can help out around here, pay for my stay, and also I'm getting paid myself, so it's a good situation. I'm going to make it a little more regular, back and forth, back and forth, instead of trying to stay out. I, do, I don't know, I was trying to break my record staying out boondocking last time. It was like a month and a half, two months or something like that, is how long I was just out, and uh, yeah, I got way behind on sleep and behind on money and, you know, coming out here helps get my projects done too. So I'm going to make this a regular routine so part of, as part of my rotation. I'm going to come out here to the ranch. I also just didn't like coming out to Oregon, so it's just, yeah. I'm trying to stay up in Washington as best I can. Missed my target. It's still important to me, though, to stay in Washington. I love Washington. I can't stay in Oregon. It's uh, just sitting here idling. I can watch the, the needles noticeably dropping. So those fans work. They work okay. It's just this. Not trust. I don't. I don't. Not trusting those electric fans for going up mountain roads. Well, my mechanical fan back. I will put my mechanical fan back in because I even the second property is even worse. It's uh, not as steep, but it's much longer. Yeah, city driving, we're good. But mountain roads, mm, let's put that mechanical fan back in. Stay tuned, everybody. Lots coming up. Gotta work on my roof. Put the mechanical fan back in. A bazillion other things to do. RV oil change and plugs. I think I'm gonna skip on the spark plugs because those. Uh, I think that's way too soon. I need to write that down. I have a new little maintenance notepad to keep really good track of that stuff now. Maintenance log. Keep track of all my oil changes and spark plug changes. It'll be like a little journal of maintenance. Keep 
better track than I have been. Uh, anyway, old change coming up. Gotta make a fan shroud. Or make a shroud for the electric fans. The, I don't know. Hmm, we'll see. Need to fix my bathroom fan. That's the hardware I just got now. A uh, little note to measure my roof height because I want to know what the height is so I can go find me car washes that I can fit in. I do love having the generator, boy. This is awesome. No power. For some reason, the grid has gone off. It wasn't even that windy. It was a little rainy. It was actually quite rainy last night. It's gonna be 80s tomorrow. Why is it so cold? Pacific Northwest. Holy moly. Raining away. It's supposed to be summer. Anyway, the weather's freaking awesome. I'm not gonna complain. I like it. Uh, cool rather than hot. Yeah, it was raining a little bit last night, a little drizzly this morning, and power went out. This thing started beeping at me, the battery back up. It's really good about waking me up or letting me know that the power's out. It has not come back on, it's been a few hours now. It's uh, usually not out that long unless it's been storming. So, anyway, whatever reason, it sucks, but I got the generator. It's up and going, things are awesome. Playing video games relaxing, catching up on sleep. I'm feeling amazing. Gonna make some breakfast here. I don't have any eggs or anything, so I'm just gonna make uh, veggie burritos with sausage. And start my day. Still drizzling a little bit, it sounds like. House just got their generator going. Should be tomorrow. Should be a good day tomorrow for that. According to my phone. I love it. Got the phone hotspot, so there's internet internet. Weather is perfect right now. I don't have an AC going, no heater. Nice and cool. I'd say it's 68 degrees, if I had to guess. Very nice. Been feeding the birds and giving them a, made them a little bird bath. Beautiful, beautiful weather. With some noisy generators. Checking everything, couldn't figure out what the heck was going on. 
that I remembered the water heater going. But it was running it the whole time with the gaming going and the bridges on. So that's cool to know it getting uh, you know, the batteries getting low on that thing. It's not 218 degrees in there unless it's on fire. Which is not. When it gets low on batteries, this thing starts giving false readings that are way high. Anyway, that's awesome. The generator can handle the uh, water heater. I'll make a mental note to that. They usually just keep it unplugged. But, uh, only use it for dishes anyway, so I need to have a, I need to make another switch. But before I hook up that water heater to a switch, I'm going to relocate it. So it's in a temporary spot. But I need to save up. I want to do the plumbing and new fittings. Get an expansion tank, something I need really bad. Since getting that new pump, it pulsates really bad in the shower since it puts out a lot more pressure. Or just works better or something. This pump, it would actually just go steady with the uh, shower, but now the new pump, it reaches pressure and shuts off and on and off and on and off. Driving me nuts. but. Pressure, t uh, pressure tank or bladder tank, expansion tank, new plumbing, apex, I'd like to get some apex in here. Something I've worked with a bit, quite a bit, in one of my last jobs. Uh, yeah, so that'll be a whole project relocating that water heater. Coming up, we got all sorts of project videos I'm working on. GoPro, stop recording. Roughly carrots go slow, the basic stuff. Garlic salt. Just a bit. The chicken sausage, cheddar cheese, and ranch. over. Mm -hmm. 